Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from TNC Toy Tractors. I apologize for the interval between videos, but being our new father, it's uh, kind of quite time consuming. So uh, today I have for you the Alice Chalmers 440 Prestige Collection by Ertl. This is the 1 16th scale. This is the uh, 50 years of Alice Chalmers here or the Alice Chalmers 440, the 58 years of it. Uh, I got this from my good friend, Kevin Tolka, who gave me a really good deal on it, and uh, I'm glad he did. I absolutely love this, and I want to share it with you today. I plan on doing kind of like a threefer, um, like a three in a row. I'm going to do a review of this one, the... 132nd scale and the 164th scale ones that I do have currently. So this is one of three videos that I plan on doing on a series on the Alice Chalmers 440. Uh, great color on the box as you see start off with. We're going to talk about the box. Everything looks really good. Real nice bright pictures. Got a cool picture here on the top of the box and then here on the bottom you have your normal stuff from Ertl so a uh, little bit about the Alice Chalmers 440 it was manufactured by Steiger and built in Fargo North Dakota the Alice Chalmers 440 was produced from 1973 to 1977 with a total of 1,033 of them built. Had an original price of $38,179. Was, was powered by a Cummins 555 cubic inch 9.1 liter V8 engine. Rated at 218 engine horsepower and 165 drawbar horsepower has a Eaton 10 Ford 2 reverse transmission weighs 20,230 pounds it was later replaced by the 7588 and Steiger also built a tractor for co-op that was uh, based on the same tractor I believe that this was uh, the Steiger Bearcat is what uh, the Alice Chalmers 440 was based off of and Alice Chalmers used a uh, power plant of their choosing I believe was the only real difference so uh, there is a Steiger and a co-op version of these I don't know if I'll I'll probably end up getting the Steiger version I don't know about the co-op version but um, they may be a little bit down the road on getting those so be looking forward to those if you're into those I might try and get them just uh, just kind of depends you know so we're going to get this out of the box. We're going to go over uh, a few things on there. I'm going to show you all the details and everything else. And we're going to now give you my thoughts and opinions on the tra tractor itself. So, All right, everyone. And here is the Alice Chalmers 1 16th scale 440 by Ertl. Um, I will say that this is a very very cool model I will say very sharp um, I'm definitely happy to have this I'm glad that Kevin set one of these back for me I believe these are running anywhere from 275 to 300 dollars I've seen um, unless you pre-ordered them I believe they were cheaper so as you can start off here, you can see all the hydraulic lines are super nice. You got all your lights. They are very realistic. Um, a very lifelike and real drawbar hitch here. Um, you got your SMV sticker here. And this is your uh, hydraulic tank. And then you have your fuel tank here. Which, you know, as you can see that this is, I'm going to pick the camera up here. As you can see, all the decals are really nice and crisp and clean. I 
I mean, this is just a very cool model. This is uh, not quite on par with the uh, Wagners that came out, but this is right up there, I'm telling you. So you're getting a lot of detail for the money. As you can see, you can open the cab. We'll try and get a look inside the cab here. Um, here's a light here you can see. So you can see the operator station there. You can see the different gauges and whatnot. Um, nice crisp sticker there on the back of the cab. Nice Alice Chalmers you can see. And then you got your... Uh, I believe these might be just some reflectors that are up on top of the cab. Um, let's see here. Is all the doors open? Yep, all the doors open. That is really cool. Not a lot of, I don't think very many of these in real life came with air conditioning. So, you know, two doors open, let the air kind of work its way in. Um, upon looking at this, I'm actually kind of surprised. These fenders are plastic. Um, this air box is plastic. Um, looks like the main part of the tractor itself, the chassis as I would call it, like the hood and the chassis of the tractor, that's all die cast metal. You know, this tractor, it's not, it's not light, but it ain't as heavy as the uh, Wagners are. I thought it would definitely be up there, but upon inspection of like the plastic fenders here, I thought these would all be die cast metal too, but no, plastic. Um, not really complaining, no, because the metal in the plastic both match. That is something I feel like it's, uh, that happens a lot uh, with metal and plastic parts. The paint don't match, and you can clearly tell. So, uh, looks like there's a little bit of a chip here. Now, that had to have happened in manufacturing because this came from an unsealed shipping box and an unsealed box, everything. So, that happened in shipping somehow, or not in shipping, but in production. But it happens. As you can see here, you got the V8 Cummins engine in here. Um, try and get a good look in there for you. Nice cool paint. I seen somebody, uh, they took one of these engines and they painted it all yellow and put a nice cat sticker on here. And it looked sharp and painted the top of the hood flat black. Man, it was sharp. Really liked it, so... Nice decals here on the breather. As you can see, crisp, clear decals. That's what I like about a lot of these uh, prestige metals is their decal work is very good. It's super nice, super clear. You don't have to squint to really read what it says or anything. It's clear. So, uh, got your, got your pre-cleaner here. And then down in what I call your air box. Uh, that leads to the engine. Nice big grill here. Nice cool Alice Chalmers uh, emblem there. Um, wish they would have done something about this split here. I feel like they could have. I know that's probably how they had to put the model together. But man, I, I am tired of, di of the seams. I think that's something that might be easily remedied uh yep real wiper blade something i really like is always a real wiper blade it's not just molded into the glass or something so um this might have had an air conditioner of sorts as i uh i'll pick this up here and we'll get an angle at it as you can see, there's like vent venting right there in front of the cab. I don't know if that's where fresh air came in the cab or that was like an air conditioner. So, um, nice grab handles. I'll flip it over here. Uh, very cool detail. I know there isn't a lot here, but man, look at these big old axles here. You know, you can clearly see them. You can clearly see a drive shaft here and here. And then you can make out your uh, draw bar hitch. And you can see the oil pan and the drain plug for the engine. 
Um, I don't know what's going on here. Something going on. That may have been from the styrofoam. So, but uh, very, very cool. The duels, I plan on leaving the plastic on these. I think it just, you know, it looks still good with the plastic on the tires and everything, but they're really stepping up their detail on these wheels and tires on these die cast tractors, and they always look great. So, uh, something I'm just noticing here you can make out, you can actually make out the exhaust manifolds on the engine there. Uh, something cool is you can display these rain caps either opened or closed. I personally like them opened. I think that's a beast look, as I would say. You know, makes it look like it's in the field working or something, you know. But I like having the rain caps open. Pretty neat. And, you know, small details like, like the clamps. You know, that's something that's sometimes overlooked, and that's really cool to see. That they do that you know and like this mount for the pre-cleaner here that's something that's overlooked sometimes on details on tractors that um, just isn't put on there but man you know it these 1 16th scale tractors I admit are getting expensive but my lord Ertl and these companies are stepping it up they are trying to give you everything they can for the money, and it is just awesome. I really, I've been, uh, everyone that knows me knows I'm an Agco guy, uh, you know, so I'm big into Alice Chalmers, of course. Um, like right here is like your pump for your hydraulic fluid, all your hydraulic lines, and your different wires and such running out of the cab. I mean, just knocking it out of the park you can see clearly make out the operator station in there the throttle um you know it's got stickers for gauges and stuff but nonetheless very cool you can clearly make out the alice chalmers decal there on the steering wheel nice crisp clear glass on the cab um the top part is white Kind of like a cream white as i call it you know and even that is nice and crisp and clean so uh the steps leading up to the cab are all plastic so very cool very very cool tractor very cool toy tractor um hopefully one of these days i'll be able to find one in real life and talk to somebody about it and you know make a video for you guys on it so uh, I want to again thank Kevin Tolka for holding on to this one for me. I, whenever these came out uh, or announced that they were coming out, I told him that if he got one, I'd get it through him. And guys, you really need to check him out. He's such a great guy. He's great to work with. If if he don't have it, he probably knows someone who does and can get it for you. So uh, check him out. Um, on Facebook, you know, Kevin Tolka and him and his wife, Amy, are just such great people. Great people to do business with. So support a small business, too. It's always good. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, I apologize for the time between uploads. Um, I'm trying to get better. I'm, things are starting to get in a little bit of a uh, cycle with things. I'm starting to manage time. Being a new father takes up a lot of time so but i hope you've enjoyed watching i know i enjoy making these videos i hope you'll come back and see us again um, we're on instagram and we're on facebook you know tnc toy tractors if you want to check us out there i sometimes post stuff there so have a great day keep your furrow straight and we will see you later